Hello friends, welcome back. Today I'm going to make a lantern and I've been wanting to make one of these for a while. So what I used was eight five by seven frames and two of the square frames that say family on them. And I used the off-white spray paint. So I started by, of course, taking everything out of its wrap and removing the backs and the glass out of each of the frames. And I removed the glass out of these square frames but I put the back back on it so I just lightly sprayed both front and back of all of the frames and next I'm just going to remove this hanging part off of the square frames and I just used a popsicle stick from the Dollar Tree so they're just really easy they just pop right off and I'm just gonna place that upside down and I'm gonna start gluing my frames um, just straight and making a square out of them. So this is where I decided to start putting the glass in the frames as I glue them. So the glass is already in there and um, I just place them inside this box frame. They fit in there perfectly and it was just I guess dumb luck that they all four of them fit in there like a, a bo perfect box so I want my lantern to be fairly sturdy so not that I'm gonna be moving it around a lot but I do glue all the pieces that are touching um, anywhere that they touch I glue them together and make sure that all the corners and the sides are glued and just really sturdy you could use another type of glue if you prefer I just stuck with hot glue Okay, so like I said, it fits in there perfectly, like perfect little box. Um, if you wanted, you could put the top on it, um, which would be the other square frame, but I wanted to create a second layer or um, row, what, what would you call it? Uh, anyway, um, I have another lantern similar and it was kind of my inspiration for this So I wanted to create some more strength between the frames. So I bought a pack of popsicle sticks from the Dollar Tree and added some glue between the frames on the inside and Just set that popsicle stick in there and it sits in there flat and just creates a a little bit more strength between them so if you want it those popsicle popsicle sticks can't talk to match um, you could spray paint those too so I just continue to glue everything and create a second layer <laughs> Okay, so here I just wanted to show you that they do sit flat on the inside. And for the last one, I'm just gonna glue the popsicle stick to the frame and then add the glue underneath it to set that one into place. Okay, so to put the top on, first I'm gonna remove the back off of that frame. And that's because I'm gonna use an actual candle inside and it needs to have a place to vent. So um, it, it does take a little bit of wiggling and maneuvering to get this on, but once you do, it really adds a lot of strength to holding this piece, the whole piece together. And I just glued that into place and sanded it. And I'm also gonna add some black rocks that I got from the Dollar Tree to the bottom and just a plain white candle from the Dollar Tree. And do you remember these? I popped them off of those frames. Well, I'm gonna use those. Okay, so I'm gonna 
add some glue to three sides and then I'm going to use some rope from the Dollar Tree and glue it on three sides. You could glue this rope all the way and cover the entire thing, make like maybe three rows, maybe just two rows it would take to cover it. I'm just going to do one and cut it into place and then I think it turned out cute. So I'm going to glue it on to the side of the top. So for the second one, I did it the same except for I cut the rope ahead of time and just kind of measured and cut it. It was a little bit easier um, because I'm personally having trouble with my scissors. <laughs> so I just glue that on the other side and kind of create two handles, I guess, on both sides. And I wanted that little opening on it on the top so I can fit a piece of rope inside there. So once I measure out my rope, how much I need, then I'm going to add just a bit of glue inside there and push that rope in and just kind of creates like a little bit of a rope handle just for decorative purposes. I don't know if it'd be strong enough to actually lift by this handle, but I think it's cute. So I'm also going to cut some pieces and add them down each of the four sides of the lantern. Okay, so I'm also going to measure out and cut a piece for the bottom and I purposely cut the sides a little bit short knowing that I was going to do this and I just hot glue it into place and I'm going to call it done. So there's a lot more you guys could do to these to really dress them up for your house and your decor, but I think it's perfect for my beachy bathroom. So anyway, hope you guys liked this video. Hope you're having a great day and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.